Hi guys, I've just come from the bandsaw and the blade needs a little bit of a touch up. So I thought I'd do a quick video to show you how I sharpen my bandsaw blades, but more importantly, the few little aids that I've developed that make it a lot more simple. The actual process of sharpening is the same as I demonstrate for sharpening a rip saw, and you might like to check out that video for a bit more detailed information on the rip saw profile and how to sharpen it. The sharpening itself happens with the blade held in the saw vise and I've got a video on making this saw vise and there are also plans on my website so check that one out too. An important point to note here is that I've protected the vise and the bench top with a piece of plastic. I don't want any of those iron filings from getting embedded in either the vent. We don't want any iron filings getting embedded in the vices or in the bench top itself. I like to set the gullet just slightly above the cheeks of the saw vise. That gives me plenty of support for filing and not a great deal of vibration. That seems to work really well. And we don't get the file running into the, the cheeks of the vise either. The correct angle for filing the teeth is at 90 degrees. So with a saw file the edge that touches the tip of the tooth needs to be perpendicular to the bench. If you have difficulty either judging that by observation or feel, then uh, use a little shim of wood, hold it against the face of the file, and then you can align it like so. With reference to the file, you'll be using a triangular saw file and you want to pick one which is roughly twice the width across its face than the depth of the gullet. The reason for that being that once you've worn out one half of the file doing your sharpening, you can flip it over and use the other half. So you get twice the life out of your file. As you file the teeth, you can either work from right to left or from left to right. It really doesn't matter. Sharpening techniques really simple. Just place the file into the gullet, the perpendicular side against the front of the tooth. And I usually take two reasonable strokes with the same pressure both against the tooth and slightly down. And as you see, I lift the file out of the tooth when I bring it back. Move along the vise, doing each tooth in turn, until you've covered the whole length of the vise. Now to tell you about some of the aids that I use to make things a lot simpler to cope with the bandsaw blade. Bandsaw blades come in different widths and uh, it's tricky having to, when you move them around to the next section, keep aligning the gullet to the right depth. So I take a clamp. This is a very cheap one but it works very well. It has sliding soft jaws on it and I just slide those half off the cramp head at both ends. Then I can slip that underneath the blade so the padded ends are just on the front side of the vise. The blade is held up at the right position by the main clamp head but because we've slid the protective shoe forward the clamp is only on the front side of the vise so we can open up the saw vise without any problems. That allows us to slide the blade round and it stays at the right height and then we can reclamp and we're ready to start again. In combination with the clamp 
I also use a support at the back of the blade. This is only a short blade for my small band saw. If I was using a, a larger blade then I'd probably use a few more supports around the place. But this gives me support at the vise and then at two other parts of the blade which means that when I release the vise the blade is fully supported and I can move it around very easily indeed. Keeping track of where you've got to when you're sharpening is important because you don't want to sharpen the same tooth twice. It'll end up being slightly lower than the rest of them. I buy all my band saws new and I rely on the fact that they come pretty much in a straight line. And if all my filing is consistent with every tooth, they should stay on a straight line. I've never felt the need to joint the teeth on a bandsaw blade. But how do we keep track as we work our way along the vise? Well obviously if we're doing one tooth after the other that's fine. But if the telephone goes, then I use a little miniature clamp. Just clamp on the last tooth that I've filed. I can leave it for days or weeks if I need to. When I come back I know what I've done. Also when I've completed the vice length of teeth, I'll clamp on the last tooth that I've sharpened, release the vice, and then I can move the band around easily without having to keep track of that tooth. Reclamp and I'm ready to go on the next tooth that needs sharpening. How do you know when you've completed all the teeth? There are 330 teeth on this bandsaw blade and it's only a very short one. When I work on my large bandsaw blade there's probably twice as many teeth if not more. So when I first come to sharpen it I set a second clamp on the last tooth that needs to be sharpened. That stays there the whole time during the sharpening process. Eventually it makes its way back to the other end of the vise. And I know that I clamped it on the last tooth that needs to be sharpened so at the last moment I can take the clamp off and just push the last tooth into the vise. I use the same setup if I wish to reset the teeth. I take my saw set, start with one tooth, set it, put a clamp on top so I know where I've started, skip a tooth, set, skip a tooth, set, keep going. If I have to stop at any point I'll put a second clamp on, I'll know where I've got to. With the saw vise loosened off it's very easy to slide things round as we carry on setting the teeth. When we've completed one circuit we know the tooth that we set so we can then set in the opposite direction the tooth next to it and then keep skipping teeth and go round the whole band again. So I hope you found something there that will make your bandsaw sharpening go a little smoother. Cheerio!